Um, yeah, hmm. it just, we needed to fix it, so we, we did. And that's just water, I'm not drinking hot water. No, but it's it heated up really good. It's steaming, it's hot. Well, that's a good thing, because I ain't taking it back out. <laughs> Why not? Well, you were going to vlog. I didn't want it to be too loud, right? Nope. I'm not vlogging at all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. Guys, today, well, today, i got to replace the microwave. I don't know if you guys have been following us on social media, but it's been about, I don't know, about, what, a week? About a week. And you know, the thing is, I never really thought that I needed a microwave because like we griddled all the time. We use a 17 inch blackstone griddle out by the, in the garage. And then we also use a 36 inch blackstone griddle out on the patio. And well, we use that all the time, but yeah, the, the microwave is kind of important it seems. We're gonna replace it today with a Frigidaire stainless steel unit there on the ground. I don't really know how that's gonna go, but I'm hoping it's gonna take like 15 minutes because I really don't feel like doing it. I really don't, but that's, well, why are you clean? Why clean it if you're gonna take it out? Yeah. Oh, kids these days. All right, so this project, well, it's taking a little while. It's been about an hour later. I actually had to remove the entire template, the template, the metal bracketing thing that was behind there for the other microwave. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to do that, but I did, and so I had to figure out new studs and get that in and drill a couple more holes in the top, and then, well, you'll see this blue tape here. These cabinets are like cheap, honestly. I think they're cheap because they're just laminated, so we had to reseal these, and we had to, you know, this 3M, 3M glue, you know, just reseal it. So it's taking a little bit longer than I expected, um, but I think at this point, I think we're ready to go get the microwave and put it in and see if it works. Yeah. Are we missing anything? I hope not. I hope not. No, looks like there's some white paint on that it's... plug up there. Oh, yeah, it's just, it's just shadow. Well, there she rolls. Honestly, we didn't really like do a full install video or anything like that on that. That is just, well, it's the way of life. We got a lot of things we got to take care of. Um, as you know, things have kind of been rough around here. So um, yeah, hmm. it's just, we needed to fix it. So we, we did, and that's just water. I'm not drinking hot water. No, but it's it heated up really good. It's steaming, it's hot. Well, that's a good thing, because I ain't taking it back out. <laughs> so we we also got about 13 14 pounds of our bubble chicken we're going to take it out put it out back on our 44 inch master built propane smoker here in just a moment because well we're kind of running out of food yeah kind of running out of food if you guys follow us on facebook and twitter uh -huh. and uh youtube um you probably have seen a couple of posts uh we've we've been using that 17 inch griddle out in the garage like oh, yeah. every day Oh, and yeah. I'm kind of running out of meat to to put on there. So, yeah, I'm I'm glad it's working. The blue tape will come off a little later. Right now, I got to get the smoker ready. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. Hi. I know this sounds bad, and like, hopefully, I won't get like a lot of bad comments. But 
Last night, I was online, I was looking at cars. Yeah, and uh, man, they have a TRD Pro Toyota 4Runner right down the road. No, I'm not saying that I'm gonna switch from Jeep to 4Runner, but you know, it'd be kind of cool to look at. <laughs> it, it would, honestly, I'm not happy with all of the changes that they've made with the JL, but in the side note, the Gladiator's coming here really, really soon. I'd love to take a look at that one too, but if you've checked out our Facebook post and, and uh, our YouTube post and our Twitter post, and well, I'm kind of looking for like a pull behind camper, but not really a camper, more of a sleeper that can go off road a little bit. It, we'll talk more about that in a little while. Right now, I, I need to, I need to help her. <laughs>